Hey there, we were working on a way for our business users to put um, charges for many tickets onto one invoice, and we think we came up with a pretty cool solution. Um, so I just made a customer. This is a huge corporation, and I've got an invoice for them for 10 hours of service per month, and that's paid. Um, we're going to turn this into a recurring monthly invoice in a moment. I'm going to show you a couple different options, though. Um, First, we'll do how to manually do this. So this customer has a couple tickets open now. Um, we've got workstation maintenance and server maintenance. So if we head over to workstation maintenance and pop a couple charges on here, let's say we just did um, some labor for uh, four hours and we needed a power supply because two of the computers are dying um, then this ticket is good to go. Let's say we've left, we put a quick note on here saying we're done, and we just resolve this. So let's go to this customer's other ticket that's still open, the server maintenance, and maybe the server needs something else. Um, it needs some labor of one hour, and it's going to have a rush labor. two hours okay um, so now a couple different ways about this we could resolve this we're done come back a little later to this customer and make an invoice now the invoice has a shopping cart with pending ticket charges we show a couple different ways um, for these not to get lost one of those ways is on the welcome screen. Um, we show pending ticket charges right here. This links to a report that'll show them. And when you're on this customer or any of their invoices, you're going to see this shopping cart. You can just click add all, and it will add all those pending charges uh, to this invoice. And it's automatically going to show from ticket number if this invoice isn't linked to that ticket number. So this is actually going to read really well when you give this to that client. So that's one way to do it. At the end of every month, you could go to the report for pending ticket charges, go to the customer, just click Add All, and you're good to go. Okay, now I'm going to delete that invoice and show you the other way. So um, deleting those line items will put them back into the shopping cart. So it's just like this never happened. You can just delete the invoice. I just wanted to be able to see that. So um, delete the invoice. And now we're going to make a recurring invoice for this customer happen at the end of every month. We already have to bill them for that labor anyways. Uh, this would work with an empty invoice, um, like a catch-all. But we're going to do it this way. Um, recurring invoices. New. Find that customer. And we'll call this monthly service. We'll do this monthly. We'll start at the 31st. We're going to copy the one paid invoice that is still in there. All these options are still good. We're going to just email this and add any pending ticket charges from shopping cart. With that checkbox there, any of those shopping cart line items just get stuck on this invoice when it's made at the end of the month. That's all there is to it. The first flow you saw with that add all is going to automatically happen at the end of every month. You never have to worry about charges going unbilled. And just for fun, let's check out that pending ticket charges report so you know what I'm referring to there. You don't want to um, ever lose track of those. That's probably billable work that um, can be forgotten to charge. So we go over to the pending ticket charges report and Here's all the customers and all the different items that we have waiting to bill. There's those four from Huge Corporation. This will take you to the ticket. From the ticket you could just make invoice or go to the customer, click make invoice, whatever you want. They're all going to pop in. Hope that helps. Have fun.